Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we're going to be talking about a few things and then also XRP. XRP is not going to be the big picture in this video, but I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about Bitcoin, a little bit about the market, overall everything in regards to that. So, with that being said, I just want to ask you guys, if you are holding strong throughout this entire dip, if you guys are still a believer in crypto and you believe that we will have a bull run this year, comment down below why you think so and also like this video. So overall, when we're looking at these percentages uh, in terms of just the overall market, right? First off, we're, we're down roughly about 9.16%, nothing too bad, you know, sitting at about a $1.92 trillion market cap. Nothing too crazy in regards to that. XRP ranging around the 94 cent zone. Uh, not exactly trading at it, but around that zone. We also see that it's still up 292%. I understand that other altcoins are up significantly, but our time will come. I, I believe that we will get to the all-time high this bull run, uh, no doubt about it. But overall, when we're looking at this market, and we we you know talk about what's happening in regards to the entire market, in regards to emotional trading. You know, what is the big news that pushed us lower? Well, first off, we talked about the Evergrande stuff over in China. And, you know, a lot of people were buying into that fear, saying that the collapse is almost here. The collapse is almost here. I, I think it's the idea of this, right? So overall, when we're talking about the global economy could feel the effects of China's Evergrande crisis, I, I think a lot of people are kind of buying into this fear. And, and don't get me wrong, I think that this is uh, a little bit bearish in the regards to, you know, just the markets overall. But I think that this is also bullish in a sense, uh, considering the fact that this is also the idea that we could preserve these markets. We could help these markets thrive if they would accept, you know, crypto overall. Because this is, you know, major banking systems that are having these crises. Uh, I think that, and I love the words that they're they're using here, sending ripples across the global economy. But overall, no, like when we're talking about this stuff, right, this is debt and cure. This is going all the way back to, you know, years, years of just overall debt. You know, a lot of people weren't getting paid. Em employees weren't getting paid by the employers and stuff. This was pretty rough. I know that they're saying that this could be the next financial crisis, but it could lead to more volatility. I think overall, this is nothing to really worry about in regards to the market. I think that the market, for what it's worth, is just experiencing a little bit of a sell-off. I, I told you guys this morning uh, on my earlier video that, yeah, sure, we could see some more volatile price action, but we are at a 13% pullback, okay? Technically speaking, yes, we could test the 100-day MA down at about 40.7K. We could even get to about 41K exact or even dip down to as low as 37K and retest this bottom uh, that we did pull back to over here. But I don't think that we do. I, I, I honestly think that we're either at our bottom or near our local bottom entirely, right? And when we're talking about this, we're talking about even going back to the previous pullbacks that we've seen at around 12%, 13%. We've even seen at some points in time and I even have them laid out on the chart here. You know, we've seen 31% pullbacks, 26% pullbacks, 20% pullbacks, all the way to the ride to the top of 65K. So realistically speaking, these pullbacks that we're seeing are nothing to really kind of worry about. Don't get me wrong. I understand. There's a lot of FUD going throughout the market. We're talking about China's Evergrande crisis. We're talking about financial crises. We're talking about a stock market crash. The S&P 500, Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, they were all bearish today. I get it. All right. There's a lot of things that look bearish for us. But overall, we already know from past market cycles, if you were here during the 2017-2018 bull run, uh, I wasn't here during the 2013-2014, just to give you guys that clarification. But if you were here during 2017-2018, you'd know that there was so much FUD, especially coming from China. There's a lot of Chinese Ch China FUD, right? So overall, when we're talking about you know, th fear throughout this market, a lot of this is enough to shake a lot of hands out. And I think that that is more so what is happening, right? We're seeing, you know, sh shakeouts going all the way back to the beginning of this year, right? So overall, 
I don't think that this is nothing to be concerned about. I think long term we're still looking good. I don't think that we're going to see just yet a massive crisis happen. I think that that does happen. I'm going to be talking about that in a later video today. But overall, I still think that Bitcoin looks fairly good. Now, we also see a lot of people saying uh, institutional investors are actually pulling money out of crypto. But I don't think that that's the case, right? We're even seeing here institutional fund managers have been buying up crypto in lockstep with a broad market recovery that began in late July. They have been accumulating crypto for the fifth straight week in a row. What does that tell you from an institutional investor standpoint? It means that they believe that it's going to go higher. And I definitely think that it's going to go higher, especially in the long term aspect, especially when you look at the past market cycles. We're still on our way to a clear bull run. In fact, I want to shout out to Tech Dev, right, on uh, Twitter. Incredible individual. Love his overall charts. They're very easy to read for anybody who is new to this market. But he, even he's saying total crypto market cap, two dips, dates within days, four years later, can't make this stuff up. And this is 100% the truth, right? We're talking about not a dead cap bounce, cleared the 702. We're even seeing that even going back to the first dip, right? Here's the first dip. Here's the second dip in September. I've talked to you guys about that September dip. I've told you guys about what happens when we do see that final dip. We get the nice blow off top. If we do see that blow off top for the entire crypto market cap, we will range to my targets of seven to ten trillion dollars for the global crypto market cap. And yes, that does include Bitcoin. That also includes altcoins as well. And I do think that we get there this bull run. I still think that we are well in a bull run. I don't think that this is bearish at all. Yeah, sure, there's bearish and also FUD news coming out throughout the entire market. But on an aspect on when we're talking about XRP, we're talking about, you know, these other altcoins that haven't hit their all time highs. For an example, a lot of people still believe in the idea that XRP is not going to be worth anything at some point in time. They think that it's going to zero because the SEC lawsuit. But look at what the overall idea is from David Schwartz. With my dream scenario is Swift makes a deal with Ripple where all the banks get to use RippleNet for free, maybe even paying Swift fits our XRP strategy perfectly, right? And that is exactly what it is, right? Swift with 10,000 plus banks to plug into RippleNet, whatever the case may be, right? We're not talking about the idea or the logical dream of XRP, but we do know the long-term view of it. The thing is, is that XRP for what it is worth has not made an all-time high this bull run. We also haven't seen XLM reach an all-time high this bull run. There's a lot of altcoins that have not reached all-time highs. Also, in the sense of XRP, I still think that we get to the dominancy factors of 30% uh, percent plus by the end of this bull run. I think that Bitcoin will actually hit all-time lows in terms of dominancy factors. And I still think that we're going to see a massive blow-off top event. It's not speculation either. It's going off of you know market cycles. I've done I, I I've done multiple videos on Bitcoin's past market cycles, and it looks like we're playing perfectly into the September pattern. In fact, I believe that by the end of September into the beginning of October, we will be back on track for the next major move up on Bitcoin. Now, also, we see a lot of accumulation happening in regards to the Bitcoin dip. El Salvador actually bought 150 Bitcoin. Um, during this dip, we've seen that actually come out today. Now, obviously, this is a little bit funny as people were, you know, talking about bull bear markets, and we do see, you know, El Salvador pretty much buying up 150 Bitcoin. But it, it's the idea that these individuals know what's happening, right? Institutional investors know what is happening as well. That is why institutional investors are accumulating crypto. They've uh, accumulated for five plus months now, right? But that's not the only thing, right? We also see here. You know, I believe that we could see 42 to 38K being the massive zone of a bouncing period. I even said, I believe that we are either at the bottom point. I think that we either bottomed right now or we go a little lower and, you know, scoop up just one last dip on Bitcoin before we do go to the blow off top. And I think that that is exactly what a lot of people are also seeing from a FIB level. Uh, you know, they're talking about the Evergrande situation here. And I think a lot of people don't really, I, I think a lot of people are worried about it, but most people that are, you know, sitting in crypto and, and, and know from a personal standpoint that, you know, FUD will happen no matter what to scare people out. They know that at this point, we are looking for a major bouncing point. We are looking for a reversal point for Bitcoin. I think that we will get that uh, eventually sometime soon, probably within this week span, right? Now, also, we do see here 
Bitcoin heavy breakout fractal suggests Bitcoin price could hit 250,000 to 350,000 dollars in 2021 if it could repeat the 2017 bull run pattern, which I don't think that we will. In fact, I think that we will actually have a less uh, of a move than 2017, 2018. If you guys watched my past videos on it, I tell you guys that I don't think Bitcoin will actually hit 100K plus. And don't get me wrong. I still think that we hit seven to $10 trillion for the global crypto market cap. I just don't think that we need Bitcoin to go to these astronomical levels to get there. Uh, I still think that the topping point for Bitcoin is still around that 100K mark. I don't think that we get there exactly, but hey, I, I'd love to be proven wrong. I've been wrong before. It's totally fine. Everybody is wrong sometimes. So that would be totally fine with me, but I'm not waiting for 100K Bitcoin to sell any of my altcoins. But this would be absolutely madness if it did hit those high numbers. Now, in regards to uh, Bitcoin entirely, I still think that we are going to range a little bit higher here, but I still think for what it's worth, the 42.5K zone uh, was a nice bottoming point for Bitcoin. Yeah, sure, we could go a little bit lower, but I wouldn't be too concerned on that and I wouldn't be ranging or betting on that. I DCA uh, in on some assets. I, I, I shared that in my Discord as always. You know, I, I want to be clear with everybody that is in there. But when we're talking about Bitcoin and this entire market, I still think that everything looks fairly healthy, right? I think, you know, what this market's doing right now is a healthy pullback, especially when you look at the past, you know, percentages. You know, this 13% is nothing really to worry about when we look at, you know, the, the zoomed out view of the chart. You know, overall, it looks extremely healthy for the next ride up. And I think that this is what we need it for us to really break out of that 52.7K zone and target eventually 58K on Bitcoin. So with that being said, uh, I'm not playing into the fear. I do think that overall we are ranging for a major bull run this year. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to see that happen. Uh, some people will miss out. It is what it is, but that is what this market does. It shakes people out and it will happen every single bull run um, until we no longer have bull and bear markets. We have a utility market at that point. So overall, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys don't want free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.